Good evening from South Philadelphia. I'm Ed Cohen with Jay Williams. And Jay, no question, there's one direction this Sixers team is going. It's taken a lot of trust and no question, a lot of patience. And I hear what you're saying, and the Sixers are on the up and up. But let's remember who built the foundation. Sam Hinkie deserves a lot more credit. I know this new management has taken them to new heights, but it all started with Mr. Hinkie. Now the fans in Philadelphia are reaping the rewards right now. Controlled by the Philadelphia 76ers. Simmons to Butler. Whistled for the foul. Chance coming up at the free throw line. You see this all the time. The defensive players establishing his presence on the court and also checking to see how far the refs are going to let him go. And he connects on the first free throw. the first misses the second Lillard to McCollum now a steal by Philly now push it let's attack and transition so we can build this lead good look that time but off the mark another shot stays out another follow still no good Lillard to Rodney Hood. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by J.J. Redick. So it remains Portland basketball. Lillard, tough matchup against Butler. Let's it fly from long range. His first effort off the mark. Here's Simmons with it up top. Leads just a point. Harris to Redick. A bad pass there. Blazers have it. Trailblazers take over. Curling inside. And now he's going to shoot a few more as he's fouled going up for it. Uh, you got to know your personnel. That's not someone you want to send to the line for a free two. Hits the first free throw. And he makes them both. In the front court comes Simmons. Down by one. To Butler. Harris. A oh, pass stolen by Portland. I'm hearing some boos from the crowd. They know just like I know you're not getting back on deep. To McCollum. To Lillard. The Blazers with four in the shot clock. Lillard gets a look. Can hit. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Butler to Reddick. Shot clock winding down. Butler for two and scores. Nice move, Jay. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Trailblazers with the basketball. Lillard to Rodney Hood. Here comes the screen. Portland has four to shoot. Fires the three. Hood when he's open and when he's not. So dangerous. I love the pure confidence on that jumper. He takes that three despite the defender being right in front of his face. That's borderline disrespectful. Here comes the screen. Butler sizing up Nurkic. 
to Tobias Harris. Around the perimeter. Simmons. Nurkic. Taken by the Sixers. Jimmy Butler, two for two. That's what you want. We talk so much about who are the MVP candidates, but there are other guys who are so valuable to their teams, and Jimmy Butler at the forefront of that list. I have a phrase that I use when I describe players like Jimmy Butler. It's called most valuable mentality. There are certain players that approach the game with a certain mindset every single day that they will do anything, anything possible to win the ball game. He plays with his heart and soul every single possession and every night, and he will leave it on the court if that means he can win the ball game. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. Substitutions. Lillard to McCollum. Jimmy Butler pins it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. The results, he's going to the line. Guys like Gary Payton would always take ones early like this all the time. Number one, to see if they'll get caught. And number two, to leave a little mark on you to remind you that they'll be on you all game long. Ennis Cantor has got two shots coming for his career, 77% at the line. Knocks down the first. Both to drop at the line. Muller to bring it up. They trail by two. Reddick to Butler. Jimmy Butler, three for three. That's a perfect start. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. C.J. McCollum, tough shot, well defended. To Butler. Here comes the screen. Butler guarded by Myers Leonard. McConnell to Butler. Has a chance. Wide open look. Won't go. 0-4 to start the game. Don't worry about that. You can make your next six shots and then be six attempts from the field. That's 60%. That can get you 80 million. No basket. Philadelphia with the basketball. Here comes the screen. Butler defended by Myers Leonard. footer at the buzzer first quarter's complete it's all even at the end of this quarter A good start to this one. All tied up as we start the second. Lillard to Harkless. To Lillard. 
Evan Turner matched up with James Ennis. Lillard for two. Not going down for him this time. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss, but what it might have done is seep into the confidence of the shooter that the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jump. Slams it down. Big finish for Joel Embiid. Some players are so cerebral. I'm not even paying attention to the dunk as much as I'm paying attention to the player pointing and communicating to everybody his team needs a guard on the next play down the court. Screen coming. Nothing going here on that drive. A bad pass as the Sixers come up with this steal. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. McConnell to Embiid. Redick to Embiid. Yes, for every tough shot you make, buy one, get one free. You know what I like about this pass play? Instead of putting his head down and forcing the action, he patiently waited for the play to develop. Screen coming. It's Lillard for two. The screen sets him up for two. Bread and butter. And there are a few that can do it better off the screen. McConnell to Embiid. Can't connect from in close. Lillard down low for Leonard. Not that time. McConnell to Embiid. Joel Embiid. He is shooting well. He's made two thirds of his shots. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. We'll get a stoppage here. Timeout Portland as we'll talk things over in what's now a four-point game. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Philadelphia. Lillard to Rodney Hood. Joel Embiid with the block. Blazers recover. Tough make through traffic. I was expecting the disc there, but way to fake that one and lay that one in. Sixers have the basketball. Butler to MB probing the defense Joel MB that's three now on four shots old school equals high percentage Lillard to McCollum Simmons with it. They lead it. Four-point game. To Embiid. Working the outside. Nothing going here on that drive. Butler to Embiid. Joel Embiid. Terrific shooting. He's four for five. And the defenders got to take note. Otherwise, that shot's going up all game long. Hood. Now pass. Stolen by the Sixers. 
Butler guarded by McCollum. Two MB. From the outside, no good. To Harkless. Hood. McCollum, work it down to Nurkic. Nurkic rocking the rim. You never want to leave anything to chance when you attack the rim. You finish strong every time you head home. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. Butler to Embiid. And the rebound taken in by the Trailblazers. Driving is Lillard, but a shot won't fall. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Butler here against Tarkless. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer. That's it. First half has come to an end. It's the Sixers out in front. The 76ers are in a close game thus far. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. These are the guys getting buckets for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Trailblazers are keeping things exciting in a close matchup. And when the losing team is shooting this well from the field, you know you're in for a special night. These are the guys getting buckets for the Portland Trail Blazers. Game track. Steals. Some very aggressive defense has allowed both teams to rack up a lot of steals. Ball security will be the key in the upcoming half, especially for the weakest dribblers. You know who you are. Player of the half. Joel Embiid has been making the competition look silly on the defensive end. Who was cold? Damian Lillard made enough bricks to earn a job in construction. He's been suffering through miss after miss, and no matter what he tries, it's just not working for him. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Thanks for joining us for the halftime report. The second half. It's about to get started. It's Portland ball. Lillard to Rodney Hood. To Lillard. D has got it. Damian Lillard. Tough shooting. Only two for six after that make. And a lot of folks last year, including myself, were surprised that Dame was named first team All-NBA ahead of Russell Westbrook. Look, I love Dame's game, but come on, man. Russ averaged a triple-double for the second season in a row. Stop it. Embiid, good for two. 
He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. To Rodney Hood. From long range. And knocks it down. Jay, the defender, tough to gamble that time beyond the arc. Well, that change is inevitable. And one of the things that continues to fascinate me about this game, usually when you see a good three-point shooting team, their shoulders are square to the basket. That's no longer the case in today's game. These guys are off balance, they're moving different ways, yet they still have extreme shot-making ability. Baseline drive. A drive by Butler, but a shot won't fall. On the follow. Way to stay with it. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Nurkic. Oh, Yusuf Nurkic. Looking good. Four for five. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. Simmons to Tobias Harris. Nothing going here on that drive. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable, and almost the physicality of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time. Here's a chance from long range. Had made his first couple, but he misses there. To Simmons. Embiid to Butler. Cleans it up. Offensive board. That's no good. Lillard to Rodney Hood. McCollum to Nurkic. Cleaning the offensive glass. And he's going to the free throw line. The game is too tight for you to be taking risks like that. You want to avoid foul trouble at all costs. First free throw is good. No back-to-back -back free throws here. He missed the second. Simmons with it. Tie game, third quarter. Most unlucky bounce. Muller into the front court. Looking to make something happen. To Embiid. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. Down low Nurkic. Joel Embiid sends it away. Sixers control it. Harris to Embiid. Surveys the floor. Short jumper misses. To McCollum. Harkless to McCollum. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. Neither side is giving up an inch. I guarantee you tomorrow on Complex's social feed, that play will have millions of views. And I'm really looking forward to this fourth quarter because the first three have lived up to the billing. Butler to Embiid. Short jumper off the mark. McCollum into the front court. Game's all tied in the final minute here in the third. To Rodney Hood. Rebound cleared by Philly.
Here's the three. They dare Jimmy Butler to take it, and he makes them pay. Yeah, and what we're seeing is a brilliant offensive display. You have ball movement, player movement, and great shooting to top it off. You get those three things going, they're going to be a dynamic offensive unit. Third quarter comes to an end, and it's deadlocked, all tied up. All even through three quarters. Who can pull away as we get started here in the fourth? McConnell to Butler. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. You've heard it before. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. McCollum with the basketball. His guys find themselves trailing by a bucket. Here comes the screen. To Harkless. Has a look. Wide open look. Won't go. Mm, this game is all about the small victory, so the execution on that play was on point. You keep executing like that, those shots are going in eventually. McCollum into the front court. His guys trail now by four. Curling inside. Shot by McCollum. Won't go. McConnell. Now ready with a couple of free throws. All right, that was a little bit of a gamble there, but not a terrible move sending him to the free throw line. Goes down. Able to convert on both free throws. Portland's got it. Lillard to Rodney Hood. Sizing up the defense to Lillard. Got it. Damian Lillard. He's three for seven. It seems like yesterday I was rapping with this kid during the NBA pre-draft workout. He looks scrawny. Nobody knew if he could really make it. But the arrow continues to point straight up for Dame Lillard. Another terrific season. A first-time All-NBA first-team player. Tied for fourth in the league in scoring last year. This kid is no doubt about it. Dame time. And he knocks it down. Jay, as key a move as you'll find in the NBA. And it is the new age triple threat. It does two things. Number one, it creates distance in a hurry. Number two, when you're stepping east to west while maintaining your dribble, which is the difference maker, it throws a defender off because now he's at your mercy and he's off balance. And it just may be, Jay, the biggest threat late in the shot clock. If you, especially if you add a hesitation to the move or if you look at the rim, you'll most time have the defender jumping out of the shoes. We wish defenders all the best in this game defending that. Butler. Down to five on the 24. And Jimmy Butler. It's Cantor with the board. Portland has the ball. Hood. They work it down to Aminu. Mike Scott swats it. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. They're putting in an absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity. T.J. McConnell trying to cash in on a three-point play. For his career, 76% from the line. 
free throw is good. It's a three-point play, and that just might put this game out of reach. Here comes the screen. Lillard to Harkless. From the painted area, won't go down. McConnell to Embiid. Shot, up, shot, up. shot from in close, no good. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Harkless to Lillard. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Oh, playing with fire. Damian Lillard wide open. Hits the three. Well, easy difference there. In the first half, the offense allowed the defense to settle into their half-court sets defensively. And that's why the shots were all contested. But now since they picked up the pace of the game, they're getting a lot more action out of transition threes. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Simmons to Tobias Harris. Short jumper stays out. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot, but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. Yusuf Nurkic sends it away. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. No good. Defense catching a break there. Here's a tie-up and an intentional foul. That means free throws coming with a little under 30 seconds to play. Good foul right there. You want to stop the clock. First one, count it. Goes two for two. Now the Blazers will use a timeout. It's their first of the final three minutes. That leaves them with one more chance to stop the clock before the buzzer sounds. Lillard to Rodney Hood. Now a steal by Philly. Butler guarded by Nurkic. 
And now an intentional foul. So they'll send him to the line. Two free throws here means it's a three-possession game. Okay, now look over to the sideline and see what the staff is trying to draw up on the next play. That's good clock management thus far. Two for two on that trip. Here comes the screen. Deep three at the buzzer. It's good. And the foul. And he's going to the line for a chance at a four-point play. But did you see on that three-point shot, did you see him slightly kick his legs out? By kicking his legs out, the defender runs into the legs. There's contact. That's how you get a four-point play, potentially. Damian Lillard with a chance at a four-point play. He's perfect from the line so far. It's good. Has the hot hand and a four-point play. The Sixers are victorious as they win this one by three. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. Hey, everyone. It's Jalen Rose, and it's time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The 76ers did what great teams do best, finish. They were very opportunistic on defense, and they earned them a bunch of steals. Those first turnovers made all of the difference. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Trailblazers finished on the losing end of a close score. Sure, it's great they shot so well from three. But none of that really matters when your team has one more loss to show for it. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Portland Trail Blazers. Game track. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. Player of the game. Joel Embiid put together an incredible game, highlighted by his amazing defense. Not many guys come up with this many blocks and steals. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in, of course, but even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Here we go with the top plays. Number two. Number one. On behalf of Ed Coyne and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off.